Equation of a straight line, part four. We're going to draw straight lines that don't pass through the origin. So in the equation, the y-intercept c does not equal to zero. Example one, let's draw the straight line y equals two x plus two. So the first thing we notice is that the y-intercept c equals two. And the gradient m is also equal to two. Splitting this up, We've got m is equal to 2 over 1, which tells us the change in y over the change in x. So we're going to move up 2, and we're going to move to the right 1. So we're going to place our first point at x equals to 0 and y equals to 2. So here. And from there, we're going to move up 2 and move to the right 1. Move up 2 and move to the right 1. Move up 2 and move to the right 1. And we're going to do this until we've got a sufficient amount of points and we can even go in this direction. And then we can join these up with a straight line. And that is how we do that one. Example two, y equals to two x minus three. So in this case, c is equal to minus three, and m is equal to two again. So just like in the last one, the gradient is the same. So we're moving up two and we're moving to the right one. So our first point is gonna go right here where y equals minus three. And then from that point, we're going to, again, move up two and move to the right one. Move up two and to the right one. And we're going to put a sufficient amount of points here. And we're going to join those up. Okay, so in comparison, we have our first line, which is y equals to 2x plus 2. We have y equals 2x, and we have y equals 2x minus 3. What do you notice about these lines? They are in fact parallel lines. And we know they're parallel lines without drawing them because what you'll notice, they have in common the same gradient. So lines that have the same gradient are parallel. So bear that in mind for later on. Let's have another example of drawn straight lines that don't pass through the origin. Y equals minus three X minus one. So here we've got a negative gradient this time. So C value in this case would be minus one. And the gradient M is going to be moved down three and moved to the right one. So what we're gonna do is place our first point at minus one. And then we're gonna move down three, down because it's a negative gradient. So we're gonna move down three. And then we're gonna to move to the right one. Down three from there and move to the right one. Down three from there and so on. And to go the other way, we're gonna to move to the left one and move up three. And then we can get a ruler and join these up. Let's draw y equals minus two over five x plus four. In this case, c is equal to four and m is equal to minus two over five. So we're gonna move down two and we're gonna to move to the right five. First point is gonna go where y is equal to four and then we're gonna move down two, and we're gonna move along five. We're gonna move down two, and we're gonna move along five. And we'll put the final point here, and we can join these up with a straight line, and that is, that's satisfied.